Hey what's happening guys this is Shukesh and today I will be doing a quick battery charging speed test in between these four premium devices. Let me first introduce these phones to you one by one. On my left I have the iPhone 7 plus with a 2900 mAh battery and the charger you get with this phone is the worst. It's just a 5 volt 1 ampere charger that is just 5 watt. In fact previous years Apple iPhone 6s and 6s plus got 10 watt chargers. Now the next device we have here is the all new OnePlus 5 with a 3300 mAh lithium polymer battery and it comes with a very fast dash charger. The rating is 5V 4A that is 20W. Now the dash charger I got with my OnePlus 5 is actually different from the one I got with my OnePlus 3T though the rating is the same but the new dash charger is kind of big and takes up more space on the switchboard which I don't like actually. Now the interesting part is some of the OnePlus 5 buyers got the previous dash charger so I don't know what's happening. I bought my OnePlus 5 from Amazon.in, it's not a review unit and I don't think this new charger is any different from the old one. OnePlus 3T comes with a bigger 3400 mAh battery but it's lithium ion. The device in between the OnePlus devices is Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus with the biggest battery here that is 3500 mAh lithium ion and the adapter is rated 9V 1.67A or 5V 2A. It's worth noticing that just like OnePlus 5, the battery on the S8 Plus is 100mAh smaller than its predecessor. So let's get started with this battery charging speed test. The battery status of these four devices is 0% right now. So let's connect the power cables and plug these adapters into the switchboard. Well it's time so let's start the stopwatch and start this test. I will come back after 10 minutes. Guys it's 10 minutes on the stopwatch so let's check the battery status. Well, OnePlus 3T is at 13% and S8 Plus is also at 13%. Let's check the OnePlus 5 which is at 19%. There we have the iPhone 7 Plus. It's at just 6%. So OnePlus 5 is leading. As you know iPhones turn on automatically when you connect the charger. So let's turn on all the other devices here. Well right now OnePlus 3T is at 16%, 2% more than S8 Plus so that's nice. Well I will take my next trading at 20 minutes mark and in the meantime I will also enable flight mode on all these phones and also clear all the running applications in the background. The wallpaper is already the same, I will also adjust the brightness so that we can make this test as fair as possible. So stay tuned. Guys, it's almost 20 minutes, so let's check again. Well, OnePlus 5 is at 40% and OnePlus 3T is not far behind at 33%. S8 Plus is at 23% and as usual, iPhone 7 Plus is quite slow, now at 11%. So looks like the new dash charger is faster than the old one. Well, according to OnePlus, due to software and hardware optimization, the charging speed of the OnePlus 5 is actually 20% faster than its predecessor OnePlus 3T. They are not of course lying, the result is in front of you guys. It's interestingly exactly 20% faster, so that's really amazing. It's much faster than the adaptive fast charger of S8 Plus and let's not talk about the Apple charger. I will come back at the 30 minutes mark. Well, it's 30 minutes on the clock, so let's check the battery status. Well, within 30 minutes, OnePlus 5 charges to 56% and OnePlus claims that with 30 minutes of charge, you will get a full day's backup on the OnePlus 5. So, I don't think 56% is enough for full day unless you are not a heavy user. Uh, if you don't watch any videos or play any games, then with 56% battery, your OnePlus 5 might last till 6 or 7 p.m. So, technically, it's full day and... 
the battery backup of OnePlus 5 is actually much better than OnePlus 3T. I've done a battery discharge speed test as well so you can check the channel for that. OnePlus 3T is now at 51% so again excellent. Galaxy S8 Plus is far behind at just 32%, iPhone 7 Plus is not even close, now at just 17%. Now don't get fooled by the approximate time left for full charge, it's just 23 minutes on the OnePlus 5 but it's gonna take much more time than 23 minutes because at higher battery levels the charging speed is much slower. Now let's turn off the displays and I will come back at the 45 minutes mark. Guys I'm back so let's check the status. Well dash charger is indeed very fast, OnePlus 5 is now at 80% within 45 minutes and OnePlus 3T is also very close now at 77%. Well, it's worth noticing that OnePlus 3T is actually catching up with the OnePlus 5. Uh, previously, the difference was 7%, now it's just 3%, well, 4%. A7 Plus is charged to 51% and iPhone 7 Plus is at 26%. 6S Plus was already very slow, now we have 7 Plus with just 26% battery in 46 minutes of charge that's below power for a premium device like this. Guys, it's almost one hour on the clock, so let's check the batteries. OnePlus 5 is still not at 100%, so though it looked like this phone is gonna charge to 100% within one hour at higher battery levels, as I mentioned before, the charging speed becomes much slower. It's now at 91% and 3T is at 89%. Now interestingly if you consider the battery sizes, 89% of the 3400mAh battery is actually 3026mAh whereas 91% of 3300mAh on the OnePlus 5 is actually smaller 3003. So looks like in the first 30 minutes OnePlus 5 is 20% faster but in the long run the old dash charger is technically faster. As you can see S8 Plus is at 68% and iPhone 7 Plus is at 33%, one third of the OnePlus devices and half of the Samsung flagship here. Guys OnePlus 5 is now charged to 100% and it took around 1 hour and 25 minutes, more than I expected but still it's quite fast, iPhone 7 Plus is now at 48% and Let's check the OnePlus 3T and the S8 Plus. 3T is at 96% and S8 Plus is at 92%. So that's really fast. In the last 25 minutes, the battery level of S8 Plus increased from 68% to 92%. So at higher battery levels, the adaptive fast charger of this Samsung device is actually much better than the dash charger. The dash charger works like magic in the first 30 or 40 minutes but I don't think there is huge difference in the full charging time of the adaptive fast charger and the dash charger. So let's wait for the Samsung device to charge to 100%. Friends OnePlus 3T just turned 100% and let's quickly check the SH Plus as well. Well 96% very very close. The iPhone is stuck at just 54%. Guys, S8 Plus is also now fully charged and the time on the stopwatch is 1 hour and 46 minutes. I don't want to wait for the iPhone 7 Plus, it's gonna take roughly 3 hours to charge. Right now the battery level on the iPhone 7 Plus is, well, just 60%. So that's really disappointing for a device like this. I don't know what Apple is thinking but this is totally unacceptable. Now let's have a quick look at this line graph. OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 3T are almost parallel. Galaxy S8 Plus is more consistent than the OnePlus devices up to 90% of the battery level and iPhone 7 Plus is the most consistent here. It's slow at lower battery level and also slow at higher battery level. 
So in this battery charging speed test, OnePlus 5 is the winner followed by OnePlus 3T and Galaxy S8 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus is not even close to these devices. Now I have already recorded an 18 hour long battery discharge speed test so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also check the description below for the video links. This is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day guys.